Hello everyone, I hope you're doing good. Welcome back to Kai Academy. My name is Sevinch and if you guys are new here, please subscribe. Before we start, let me tell you about myself a bit. I prepare these tutorials for you each day and I try to focus on new content with each video. If you have any problems or questions, just write them in the comments below. I regularly check the comments and I'll answer them back or maybe make a video to answer your question or solve your problem. My channel is growing now with your support and thanks for that. And for sponsorships, you could contact me via email you'll see below. And now let's get started. Today, I'm going to talk about six ways to use hashtags in Instagram stories. You know what you should do? You need to add hashtags to your Instagram stories and you invested serious resources into creating and capturing the perfect Instagram story. Maybe you put yourself in precarious situations. Maybe you spend so much time testing filters and pondering with the captions. When you do it for the gram, you better get the most views for your story. Hashtags get you the views you deserve. Instagram story feature is completely supportive of hashtags, unlike say our good friend and pal Snapchat. And before we get into the nitty gritty of how to use hashtags, let's go over how hashtags function on Instagram. In Instagram posts, when you put hashtags in the captions of your Instagram images, the images will appear in a public aggregation of those hashtags, assuming your profile is public. And if your Instagram posts are highly engaging more than others posts around the same time, your posts will appear in the top post the first nine images when you search a hashtag. In Instagram stories, now when you add a hashtag to Instagram stories, you can place the hashtag in a sticker, in tags or by way of a location tag. And the hashtag goes directly on the image and can be stylized just like all tags and stickers. When posted in tags, linked hashtags are often underlined. And you can just see an example there. On a picture. The bad news when you place hashtags in your Instagram story, your images or video will not always be accepted into the hashtag aggregation. Yes, even if your profile is set to public. The aggregation of these hashtag stories depends on engagement and the quality of the image or video posted. That said, adding hashtags to your stories is worth a try. With hashtags, you have the potential to reach thousands of Instagrammers in your region and within your industry of a similar mindset or across the globe. And the question is not if you should use hashtags in your Instagram story, but how. So, let's look at six ways to use hashtags in Instagram stories. The first way is geographically. For this video, I'm counting location tags as hashtags. Also in Instagram stories, location tags function nearly identical to, identically to hashtags. Users add a link location to an image or video just as they add hashtags. And the only differences are, first, a location can only be posted using the Instagram sticker, no text. Only one location tag can be in an image or video. And this location tag is your best bet to make it into an aggregated Instagram story. Nearly every location has an aggregated Instagram story. Furthermore, when you tag a location such as a neighborhood, the tagged picture or video could be visible in the city story, state story, or even country story wherever that neighborhood is located. And the location tag is especially good for brands with a campus. When your audience posts to the location story, adding to that story will attract that audience in the most authentic way. You are in fact one of them. And the location tag is also good for brands that are hosting location-bound PR events. And second way is supportively. In support of brand campaigns, that is, Here's the best case scenario. Your campaign hashtag is so popular that an aggregated hashtag story is created to highlight all that amazing user-generated content provided by audience. And the catch is that your brand is not 
able to control this aggregation. Unfortunately, the best case is not always the most likely. Although you may never be able to guarantee your campaign will have its own hashtag aggregated Instagram story, adding a branded linked hashtag to all your brand stories will increase engagement and awareness of your campaigns within your current audience. And third way is strategically. Find your niche and make use of it. Take for example at the girl the girlfriend manifesto's use of hashtag dream bigger. Social media downright will result in conversions. Good social leads to increased profit. And if you got money on your mind, as all brand managers should, shamelessly stalk individuals who are already engaging with your brand. And ask yourself, what hashtags are they using in posts and their stories? And then use those hashtags. If you, are, if you are already converting on social from a small but loyal audience, use learnings from your current audience to reach similar Instagrammers. And grow your audience by engaging with your current audience as they are engaging with their friends. For example, a chocolate company discovers that at the hashtag treat yourself hashtag is trending within their audiences and when searching the hashtag treat yourself story the brand discovers that many of the aggregated photos and videos perfectly match imagery with which the brand wants to position itself immediately the brand posts their story using the hashtag treat yourself hashtag and when the brand's images appear in the Hashtag treat yourself story and the chocolate brand sees more traffic to their e-commerce website through the link in their Instagram bio. And that's it. And fourth way is to ex is excessively. Uh, hashtag everything liberally, desperately, enthusiastically all the time. Because why not be that brand unabashed by excessive self-promotion? If vanity fits your brand personality, Roll with it. In the end, you'll increase the chance of getting your royal self in front of more eyeballs. And the other way is sparingly. Hashtags are not necessary to build your brand on Instagram. I repeat, hashtags are not necessary to make your brand discoverable, to gain those coveted likes or to create a profitable social media strategy. Therefore, one option is not to use them, abuse them or worry about them. Unfortunately, a brand's use of hashtags, hashtags says a lot about the brand. What does it say exactly? It removes that thin veil that separates content marketing and blatant advertising. A brand that overuses hashtags can appear too focused on likes to give time to more authentic forms of engagement. And as you can see in the image here, thanks to Instagram's amazing discovery features, a brand can completely bypass hashtags and still attract new audiences. All it takes is the most relevant, timely, valuable and inspiring brand content ever. That's not hard that, right? And creatively, tell a story with hashtags. Set your mood, embrace trends, and be personal. In a way, hashtags are emojis. They have literal meaning and a societal meaning. For example, hashtag OOTD literally means outfit of the day, but the use of hashtag OOTD connotes the shameless vanity many millennials hope will vault them to Instagram stardom and therefore a life of created leisure a la at girl with no job. Do you blame them? For example, if I were managing a salad dressing brand, I would use hashtag OOTD and hashtag every damn day. And I would exploit the hack uh, out of this trend. Every single beautiful dress salad would have hashtag OOTD slapped on the brand's Instagram story. Then I would strategically place a big old tomato wedge and two radishes on top of that beautiful dress salad to make a nutritious smile face. Why? Because you're never fully dressed without a smile. Yeah, just like that. I hope uh, this video was helpful for you and thanks for watching. The quickest way to support this channel is to click on the subscribe button 
Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video or leave a comment below and feel free to share with your friends or anyone you think would enjoy this content. And I'll talk to you all in another video very soon. Bye.